Hey, what's going on everybody? So today we're going to be talking about how to upgrade to macOS 12 Monterey. It's hard to believe that we're already leaving Big Sur for another big release of macOS, but this video is going to show you the full process about how to upgrade to the latest version, and it's really simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's two ways that you can upgrade to the latest version of macOS. The easiest way is to head over to your system preferences, head over to the software update, and then once it checks for the updates, you should see macOS Monterey appear right here if your Mac supports it, of course. Now, something interesting that Apple is doing this year with their releases, they did this on iOS. You can now stay on the previous version of macOS, just like you could on iOS. So with iOS, you could stay on 14 if you didn't want to go to 15. Well, now you can stay on Big Sur if you don't want to go to Monterey. So you can see that other updates are available. And there's Big Sur 11.6.1. So if you want to stay on that for a little while longer, you can. You just have to hit the more info. But we want the latest and greatest macOS Monterey. So all you have to do is hit the Upgrade Now button. And it's going to download the update here. Now, as you can see... This is a 12 gigabyte plus install, so it is going to take a little while depending on Apple servers and your internet connection. Now, the other way you could download this, of course, is through the Mac App Store, but it's really just downloading the exact same thing. So for me, it's much easier to head into your system preferences and download it this way. Now, what this is actually downloading is it's downloading the Monterey installer just like you would any other macOS version. It did the same thing for Big Sur. It downloads the installer to your computer, and then you just run the installer. And then once that is completed, that installer will be deleted from your Mac. So it's not like this is going to immediately start upgrading. You have to actually go through the installer. So you can let this download in the background. As you can see, that's definitely what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna sit here this long and wait for it. But yeah, you can keep using your computer while this downloads. But once this gets done here, we will come back and begin the installation process. All right, so once that gets done, you should see a window appear that looks a little bit something like this. So this is the install macOS Monterey installer, and you can even see in your launch pad that it is right there. But once you install everything, this will delete itself. So don't worry about that. But yeah, you just wanna hit continue on that and then you want to agree to the terms for the software and then it's going to ask you where you would like to install it so normally just put it on your Macintosh HD unless you have some other sort of arrangements there and once you choose that it's going to ask you to put in your password and once you put in your password it should begin the installation process so yeah, this is gonna take a little while. So I imagine once this gets done, it will start restarting and keep on installing. So let's go ahead and wait for this to load here. All right, so that did take a good amount of time. I'm not sure exactly how long it took. I don't think it was necessarily an hour, but it was quite a bit of time. But after that gets done, then you go into the actual restarts and even more uh, installation screens. So I'm not sure how long this part's going to take. Probably another 40 minutes or so, I would say. So maybe whenever this gets done, we will end up on the Monterey login screen. So we'll come back whenever this decides to finish up here. All right, so we're here on the login screen. You can see that new Monterey wallpaper right there. Password. And you can see that it's asking about analytics. I do not do analytics. And I think that's probably the only question it's going to ask. Looks like we are slowly coming into desktop there. So legacy system extension. Uh, don't know what that means. Uh, looks like Oracle or something like that. So, okay. So it's upgrading our mailbox. Okay, so overall, the first impressions here... Really, it doesn't look any different, in my opinion. Uh, it did change my wallpaper, which I wonder why it did that. Maybe uh, whichever one I had is no longer available for some reason. Um, 
But visual wise, this looks extremely similar to Big Sur. I know the notifications have been redesigned, kind of making them look a little bit more like they do on your iPhone. It looks like the dock might be a little bit more rounded in my opinion. You notice that in your uh, system preferences, you see that you now have passwords uh, right there. So you can easily access those in system preferences. You don't have to go into Safari anymore to do all that stuff. You still can, but it's gonna be a whole lot easier uh, to do it that way. Uh, we take a look here at the screen savers. You notice that we have Monterey and we also have the hello one. So you can take a look at the Monterey. So a new one there. Pretty interesting. Uh, so just kind of like shifting some colors around like that. And then the hello screensaver. So this is now across all Macs. So as long as you're running Monterey, you now have the new hello screensaver. You don't have to have the 24 inch iMac anymore in order to get that. So that's pretty cool. And then also we can take a look at the wallpapers. Okay, so I don't know why, but it looks like that is still correct. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of interesting. It changed my wallpaper for some reason. But the Monterey graph, you can take a look at that uh, and see what that looks like. So that is obviously the wallpaper uh, for Monterey. But uh, yeah, there's a dynamic version of that. And then also you notice you have these wallpapers which are all the hello ones. So again, those wallpapers are now available across all devices. So you no longer have to have the specific Mac in order to get uh, those wallpapers. But yeah, I think I'll probably rock with the Monterey graphic for a little while there. But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Just a few first impressions here. Uh, it's not too different when you compare it to Big Sur, but it is a uh, pretty cool to see a new version of Mac OS. I'm going to have a video coming soon showing you every new feature in Mac OS Monterey. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel for that. But for now, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite new feature of Monterey is. And I will see you all in the next video.